Yeah, so first of all, how are you doing? Good, doing great, man. So I moved four months ago to New York, so now I have to stay in my school, teach in class, train a little bit, yeah. you know, family, I will be on the baby, so life is, you know, it's pretty good. Yeah. Well, congratulations on that. Thank you, man. So next June, next June, another boy, another girl, I don't know yet. What led you to come to New York? I moved four months ago, you know, to start teaching. You know, and then I come to my, 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 my student school in Lower Manhattan. And after a couple of months with him, I decided about to open my, my own place. And then now I'm here. My own place, I'm teaching my class, but you can do just more. You know, I don't put a lot of focus in MMA. I wanna give some I wanna give some base for the students first before I think about creating some team or something like that. You know, now I wanna get some Brazilian Jiu Jitsu students good. You know, and later, future, you know, think about do some MMA, MMA, MMA training. You know? Has the eye injury healed up? Is that 100 percent? Yeah, yeah. Now my eye is 100 percent. So I'm supposed to be fighting in April against Uno because he he don't fought in the first in the first match in, in last GP in Japan, and then I almost fight against him, but I don't know why. No, no, not happy. And and then I'm supposed to fight in September. But the guy gave me like a three weeks notice fight against Sakurai and it's, it's so hard to me. And it's so hard to me like a three weeks, no train, you know, I have to move to here, work a lot of things. And now my guy said maybe we're gonna fight in December 31st. So right now I start training, so I've got to wait. And back side, you know, like after a couple months, my injury, you know, fix everything. Now doctor said I'm same hundred percent, so now I'm comfortable to come back to fight, so, and then, you know, I really like to fight in December. Hopefully, everything's work well with my opponent, with the event, with everything, to fight in December. And that's for the Dynamite show? Yes, yeah. yes. And uh, have you heard anything about possible opponents? No yet, but also, maybe, maybe going to be some Japanese, you know, I really like to fight against some Japanese, if the guys offer, like, uh, you know, someone, you know, I'd like, you know, catch some Japanese fighter. You know, in all my all my record, I have a lot of Japanese in my fight. I know in my record, I really do like to grow more. I really, I really like to fight some some Japanese guy. You know, I don't have any name. Maybe I'd like to fight against Sumuno. You know, one guy is supposed to fight against, against him in April. You know, work maybe can work in December. You know, so let's see. You know, would you be interested in a uh, best out of three with uh, Kawajiri? Yes, Kawajiri third fight can be good too. You know, uh, Aoki is a great fighter too. He likes Jiu Jitsu. You know, I think he, I, I, I never, I never pick opponents in my life. So I really like to come back to fight. So if the guy offer any fight to me, you know, I really like, I'm gonna accept for sure. You know, to try put my my body on the ring again. Mm -hmm. And your contract right now is exclusively with uh, K1. Yes. Yeah, so. K1 maybe can give a permission you know, to fight him on the show, you know, like a elite, give a permission to Alvarez fight in K1. You know, maybe if some shows have some friendship with K1, I can go to some place and fight. But no focus in K1 right now. I really like to stay. Okay, I never, I, I don't say nothing bad about K1 because the guys always stay by my side after my loss and after my injury. The guys always. You know, take care of me, and then I feel very happy for the guys. So I really don't think about fighting any show, only if K1, you know, say, go there, fight, you know. But if the K1 don't say nothing, focus on K1, focus on, you know, and try fight in December 31st. Mm -hmm. um, so there's there's no possibility to find you in a UFC or WEC? Yeah, you know, like my contract with K1 is only finished next year. So I had multiple fights in that show. So before, before I finish my contract, I really don't think about moving my, my fights to any place. No, I only, I respect a lot of the contracts. I respect a lot of K1. That's the reason, you know, like uh, FC, another show, maybe one day. But it's not now, not tomorrow, not next year. You know, mm -hmm. I need to finish my things first. And I'm, I'm, I said, like, I'm happy in K1. Mm -hmm. You know, FC is very nice, but Nothing to, to, nothing to tell bad about Japanese shows, nothing to, to tell bad about K1. So that's the reason. If you finish my contract and feel great there, maybe I don't go to FC, maybe I still in Japan. You know, a lot of good guys doing all the career in Japan, doing great.
know, but you know, you see, you see, we don't know like uh, what's gonna happen tomorrow, you know. So we we'll see. Yeah, as a lightweight, there's a lot of interesting matchups in in Japan, um, and uh, I think. Uh, uh, one that would be pretty exciting is uh, Joaquin Hansen. Uh, you beat him before for uh, the Shudo title. Yes. And uh, recently he just won the yeah. Grand Prix. Yeah. Um, so I'm very happy for him. He's a great guy. He's a great fighter. You know, like a lot of guys start say bullshit about him. Uh, he, he won, he lost, he won, he lost. But most of the fighters sometimes have this, sometimes they stay in good days, bad days. But he, I, I think he always very consistent in you know, his game. He don't change his game a lot. You know, his, his ground game is much better than a couple of years ago. I think, you know, Alvarez hurt his eye and it's impossible to come back. And then he get a chance, he, he fixed the mistake against Yawaki last fight and then he fixed for that fight and then worked well. So congratulations for him. He's a great guy. I think that's the place. He, he he wants to, to, to stay and nice to him, very nice. Mm -hmm. Where do you put yourself in the lightweight rankings around the world? Yeah, right now I, I'm just up here, you know, like uh, maybe five months ago, still in the, in the in my name is there, number eight, number nine, but one year and, and, two, one year and two months, no fight, sometimes it's hard to keep my name there. But for sure, you know, my goal is Try put my name there again, you know. So I need fights. So I think after do the first fight, second, third fight, I can I, I can take my my place again, you know. Maybe be the first place like uh, like a couple years ago when I won the, the Shura title. So let's see, you know. So after fourth fight, if everything works well, you know, let's see how many fights I'm gonna do per year, you know. More fights. My name is going up. It's going up. I go. I go. Stay in the in the in the in the ranking again. You know. Mm -hmm. You also hold the title for Cage Rage. Um, so there's probably no chance of you defending that anytime soon. Yeah. Right. Right, right now, I I really don't know the relationship with with the K1 and, and Cage Rage. So I won the title there. So the guys, you know, after going to K1, the guys. Don't ask me to defend the title, you know. And I know I have the belt in my home, so. But I you know I really don't think more about cage way. Like uh, you know, I want some guys there, it's nice. But now my focus in, in K1, you know. So so I, I, I keep know the guys in cage rage, but focus in K1, you know. Anything else you like to add? Yeah. So I'd like to to know. Like I'd like to say I moved to New York four months ago, so I have my own school here, okay, so the, my address, my, my web address is vitorshaolin.tv, okay, my school in New York, Manhattan, 47, and 47 between 8th Avenue, between 47 and 48th Street, okay, any, any, anything you need, come to New York, come here, check it out.